Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. Today we're on Blackpool Promenade, we're at the side of South Pier and we're going to go and take a look around this pier. So don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Make sure that you've hit that little bell for notifications. Make sure that you've given this video a like as well. And we're going to go and take a look and we're going to go and see what we can find. So we'll start at this end of South Pier and you can see when you look at it actually that it's wider, it's quite a lot wider than all, all of the others and it's also quite a bit shorter. When I turn around and look at Central Pier, even from this distance that is considerably longer. But South Pier was deliberately built as a shorter, wider pier so that there, were, there was more room for pavilions and attractions and things on it. So at the end here, where you can now see the, the bar, was a, a pavilion theatre. And on our Live Blackpool website, there is a, an article about the history of South Pier. I'll put you the link in the description. And you'll see from that that it had a, a beautiful, sort of um, ornamented pavilion building. And that was used for many different things over the years until eventually it was demolished in the winter of 1997-98. So this pier is 488 feet and 10 inches long. Don't forget the, don't forget the little bit of uh, extra. Um, and it was originally considered to be a more upmarket. And it was used for promenading and, and sunbathing and walking up and down and showing all your finery off like like people used to do back in the day because back in the day it was actually built and opened on the 31st of March 1893 1893 that's oh I'll not take my shoes and socks off and add it up but that's a long time ago it's well over 100 years and it cost 50 grand to build <laughs> imagine that 50 grand goodness me you'd spend 50 grand today on well not much but I suppose at the time, 50 grand would have been a lot of money. And it was the last of three, Blackpool Three Piers to be built. <clears throat> Originally, it was, was called Victoria Pier. Because, are you ready? You'll follow, you need to follow this. Central Pier was called South Pier. And then when this opened, it was called Victoria Pier. And then eventually, they changed the name of this to South Pier in 1930. Did you get that? Did you get that? So it's quite early in the morning, it's only about 10 o'clock and everybody's just opening up. Everybody's opening up and getting ready for a day's trading. There's a lot of people about. It's really quite busy. So I think we'll go this way because now we've not actually got any one-way systems in place. So you can start your morning with, oh goodness, deep fried Mars bar. Deep fried Mars bar. That sounds disgusting. Excuse me, do you sell many deep fried Mars bars? Lots. Oh, dear me. Lots, <laughs> lots and lots, she says. <laughs> I, bet that's, I bet that's the Scottish people or English people that are, are wanting to know whether the Scottish um, myth, the legend of the deep fried Mars bar is exactly what it sounds like. Look very nice though and smell delicious. So I'm sure you could you could fill your boots in that um, takeaway before you start your day off. So <coughs> now today, cent uh, Central Pier. That's Central Pier. That one there, the one with the wheel on is Central Pier. Who's this? Wide load. That's your pop delivery. Being transported. I could do it one of them. Just imagine me sat on one of them driving up and down the pram on with my camera on the front. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? So Central Pier is kind of rides land and adrenaline zone. It's where you it's where you get your um, <laughs> thrills. So there's the sky coaster, which is that one that they throw you throw you in like you're flying. Spider Mountain, which is a climbing net, no way, and then a Sky Screamer, which is a 200 foot bungee rocket, not on your Nelly, 
Not on your Nelly. So it's free admission, as you can tell, because I just strolled past everybody and walked on. And all the usual... Um, ooh, that little girl's having braids done. Um, all the usual side stalls and all the, all the stuff that you get on a pier. So we're going to go count, counter floor. Now that, 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 would, that would be a funny sight, me trying to throw anything in the right direction. Oh, is it that bad? Then? It's that bad. It's that bad. Let's put it this way, if you stood in front of me, you'd be in the safest spot. <laughs> Glass shop, dragons and fairies live here. Dragons also live at the Hounds Hill in Blackpool for the time being, just until just until um, the middle of August. Dragons and fairies, gifts, gifts for you to take home for yourself or somebody else. Very popular all this myth stuff. Candles, glass. I used to love watching people making this glass. Can you remember when they used to they used to demonstrate glass blowing? I think I mentioned that the other day, didn't I? And this is another one I'd be useless at as well. Darts. Oh, they're nice. Yeah. I'm just looking to see if they've got any bats. That would be topical, wouldn't it? I can't actually see any bats. It's a little donkey there. That's nice. I like that donkey. That one. Can't see any bats. If we can find, if we can find some bats, at some point in some shop, rock shops, ice cream, hot dogs, donuts. Can you tell I'm starting to get hungry again? I'm terrible, aren't I? If I gave in every every time I went past a stall, I'd be you'd be rolling me down Blackpool Promenade. Oh, I like these. I think they're good these. This one's got like a little step. She's she's looking through the bottom one. Look, it's good that. <laughs> and they've got steps at the back so that you can climb up and put your face through the top ones. If you prefer a more gentle pursuit, this guy's doing his metal detecting down here. I'd love to know what they find. And this is the gin house. This is the new bar. This is where Pirates Bay was. And if you're looking for that kind of sort of family entertainment, the the bar is still open on. Oh, it was the Laughing Donkey on South. Sorry, Laughing Donkey on South, and Pirates Bay is still open at the end of Central Pier. So if you're looking for family entertainment, that's where you need to go. There's a big deck chair here. I think we might. I think we might have a go at itching up onto that in a minute. And this is the gin house. Very nice. Very nice, I must say. So I've just asked this nice young lady if I can pop in and just have a little look round before they open for the day. How lovely is this? That is really nice. I love these light fittings. That is really lovely. Apparently it's been very popular and you can see why, can't you? Very posh, lovely bar. Goodness me, Blackpool. Blackpool is, is getting posh. Blackpool is definitely getting posh and there's all the gin bottles there, look. And most of them are just about empty. <laughs> that is really lovely. And then there's seating outside as well. So you've got your little, little tables, chairs and whatnot. And there you go, there's your advert for Pirates Bay at Central Pier, where you can go for your family entertainment. And that's where the, the DJ plays music, and they have um, DJ music on most afternoons, and then bands at weekends. I just noticed this on my way out as well. Jobs, if anybody wants one, apply within. You. And then outside, outside there's all the, the chairs and chairs and tables for you to sit outside and enjoy. 
Of course, these are on the right side of the pier for the evening and afternoon sun. So you can sit here and watch the sun go down and enjoy a lovely time on South Pier. Right, are you ready? This yeah. might go all of a wobbly, but I'm going to have a go at itching into this, itching into this massive deck chair. So at this point, I might, I might go flying. I might do something really ridiculously silly, but we'll give it a go, shall we? We'll try, whereas I failed with the trampolines. Oh! And then do I need to video myself getting back? Oh, out of it again. Oh, it's comfy. <laughs> Right, that's it. That's me set for today. I've got my, I've got my chair. All I need is a nice cup of tea, and I'm and I'm and I'm organised for an afternoon. Look at that for a view. Look at that for a view. Wow. Oh, I could sit here all day. That is really comfy, actually. That is a really comfy chair. It's <laughs> right to do my tackle. Now I'll see if I can get back out, shall I? Are you ready? This is where the fun starts. <laughs> Need a crane. <laughs> Need a crane to tie lever myself out of it. That was actually easier than I thought it might be. So take a take a selfie in this deck chair. In fact, any of them. I think there's one on each pier, and post them on our Visit Fowl Coast Facebook group. <laughs> we'll all have a laugh. So let's go and have a look round the back of here. Now I've done my deck chair stunt. And look at that for a view over the beach. It's lovely, isn't it? I tell you what, we'll go. We'll go to the edge. We'll go to the edge. I'm not. I'm not promising. I'll look over the edge. Ooh, goodness me, that's too far. It's just too far. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't look over there. It's quite warm, for all I'm saying, that the, the sun's um, not as hot as it was last week. It's still warm. It's still very warm. And this is where we get to uh, land. <laughs> this is where we get to the spot where I start saying, oh, no. <laughs> So from the beginning, I'd go on that. I would go on that. I, I could quite enjoy that. I liked slides as a kid. It's a long time since I went on a slide. Absolutely no way. Categorically not. Um, no. Um, probably not. No, definitely not. I think they must all be waiting. Waiting to open. I'd go on that. I'd go on that, but I'm not guaranteeing I won't be green when I didn't, when I got off it. Shut up and fly. <laughs> Dodgems. Now, Dodgems, definitely, I would go on that one. That's, that's, yeah, I could do that. Skyscreamer, not a chance. Bungee rocket, not to 60 in two seconds. Goodness me. Oh, well, there you go, look. You cannot ride with back, neck or spinal conditions. So we've got, we've got that one. Heart condition or high blood pressure, I could, I could lie to that one. Surgery, no. Pregnant, definitely not. And not epileptic. But I think I could. I could escape that one on uh, medical grounds. Bungee. Oh dear. Just look how high that is. Just look how high that is. Oh goodness me. And that one, definitely not. Absolutely, categorically, definitely not. And this is another waltzer. I can remember going to, we used to call it a feast where we lived. And I can remember going to a feast with some friends from school when I'd have been about 14, something like that. <laughs> and I, I used my sense, I didn't want it, but my friend did. And she came off literally vomiting. No way. I'd be hard pushed to walk around the edge while it was on. 
that's, that's, that's my level. Yeah, I'd, I'd do that. I'd do Helter Skelter. Yeah, we'll do that one. Adults are not allowed. Oh, well. Fame and Sam. That, that'd be all right. I could manage that. And I could definitely go a hot dog. <laughs> We won't get very far, would we? We won't get very far at all, I don't think. Everybody's getting ready. Everybody's getting ready for the rounds. And this is one of these things that throws you around in circles, isn't it? No way. I mean, look at that. That's that's a bit fast for me. That. It's a little bit fast. It's a little bit fast. That's more my level. Can I have to go on that one? <laughs> oh God! It's making me feel bilious looking at him. Can I? Can I do chips and curry? Can I road test that? This is the other side of the gin house. So this is the one that we've just been in. We've walked round the back, round the outside of the thing, and this is the, the other side. So if you if you don't want to sit in the baking, boiling heat, you can uh, come and sit around here in an afternoon. And from here, you've got the view all the way across to the Pleasure Beach. It's not a bad view, that, is it? It's not a bad view at all. That's the back of the sandcastle. Talking telescope? I've never known a telescope talk. This is that spider thing that you're supposed to climb through. So obviously you're supposed to stand on these webbing things. Nope. Plenty of people coming for their uh, coming for the ride. Mr. Battle Detectors got right round here in the time that we were walking round on the pier. Toy shop. And we're back to the kiosk. Back to kiosks and uh, shops. Oh, ice cream! That looks nice. That looks nice. Look a duck! Now that I could definitely do that. I'm not guaranteeing I catch one, but that's definitely my level. Can you remember when you used to do hook a duck at the feast, and you used to get a goldfish if you won? I never had a goldfish. My mum, look, Chrissy wouldn't let me have one. Um, but I know Kevin did, and, and he famously brained it with a with a, a stone bridge. Stall. They've got clear domes over the top of them so that people can't touch them, which I think is a very good idea. So I think, I think, actually, people, we might indulge in an ice cream when we get to the end of here. We might, we might complete our morning on South Pier with a little bit of light refreshment. So I hope you've enjoyed this look round. South Pier and of course there's the amusement which we've we've not even been in so if it's raining they can you can go in there um, don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit Falcoast YouTube channel don't forget to make sure that you've 
hit that little bell for notifications. There you go, there's the amusement. That go on forever and ever and ever. Don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed. Hit that little bell and give this video a like. And from Blackpool South Pier, we will bid you a good day and we will see you soon. I'm going to turn around and then you can see the front of it. There you go. So that's that's where that's where we've been today. You'll take care now and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.